Ah, oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, this is my new carrot bed. Uh, in the background there you can see the pallet collars. This is where I grew my carrots before. Uh, the rats enjoyed them. The motley dwarf virus spread by the carrot willow aphid had a go at them. And we also got carrot root fly. So I think the carrot root fly flies a bit more than 18 inches high. So this is a simple hoop house that I'm going to use, very similar to everything else I do. Uh, first of all, we're going to use some rebar to attach uh, the uh, plastic uh, pipe. These are the off cuts. Uh, the on the end screen is where I found some of this rebar in a fly tip. So uh, have a look at the end screen uh, to look at that. Uh, Got to keep your eyes peeled. And uh, then we had the uh, plastic water pipe, which is 25 mil, which suits this rebar at uh, 3.5. Uh, my EnviroMesh is uh, four meters, so that gives me plenty of overhang. which is easily adjusted to make it pleasing to the eye. Like so. That's just pulling the plastic pipe up or down to make it uh, look uh, reasonable. And once the Envira mesh is on, we can push it up to tighten it up if necessary. I've had the uh, Envira mesh off EasyNet. The link to their site is below. If you haven't got access to rebar or plastic pipe, then uh, they've got uh, some hoops that you can use that are adjustable to any height so why not take a look at their site and i'm hoping to get you a discount code uh, it'll be below if uh, i can so uh, the plastic pipe costs me 45 pound for 50 meters so this is about 20 odd meters of pipe so that's 20 pound for the pipe rebar was for free and uh, the enviro mesh I bought 20 meters at four meters wide and I've used about 6.3 meters. So divide uh, that 140 by three and uh, hopefully it comes to some sort of figures to the cost of this hoop house, which you'll be able to use on uh, uh, all of my beds because they're the same size, you can make them smaller or bigger. I've just placed two eight foot garden canes to stop uh, the pipe moving about. I'm now going to attach that uh, piece of batten. It's a roofing lath, uh, been treated. And I'm going to attach that to the other side and then use one on this side to uh, pull it a little bit tighter. Well, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how I'm going to get in though. So, this will uh, Hopefully sort all the issues that I've had with the rats, at least if I find a hole, I know the rats are, are getting in. Uh, this batten will be undone each time I want to get in, and uh, this one as well. I'm reluctant at this time to cut this off at the moment, because when I move it to another bed where I haven't got the vertical garden, I'm not sure how uh, it'll work, but... I'm going to be replicating uh, this for this bed here. For the brassicas, you might think the one I've just done is too high for the carrots, but I've got to think of all the vegetables, so not just the carrots. I might make a smaller one if I've got enough plastic pipe left and some smaller rebar. I'm reluctant to cut these posts off just in case I manage to get some more scaffold planks. Uh, I think I can cut these off now. Now I've decided uh, that I'm going to use this uh, hoop uh, netting and frame, etc. But working this high compared with this high, uh, this height is more suitable. I'm reluctant to buy new planks and I'm reluctant to pay how much they want uh, for recycled ones uh, these days. That's why I've gone for, for the uh, pallet collars I can get those uh, for free which will be uh, replicated uh, here uh, the vertical garden great idea 
but my back isn't what it used to be and lifting those tubs up and in and out I may eventually uh, remove that whether it be this year or next I'm not sure but for now I'll just drag the uh, Enviromesh from Easy Nets through there and just uh, tie it up and making sure there's no holes as you can see I've got all sorts stored there at the moment and it won't hurt to take a few of those bags out drag that Enviromesh through and place the bags on top of it as a temporary measure but I'm still thinking about removing the vertical garden climbing lifting not a good mixture for me skinny spears thick spears just taking the uh, good ones this year letting the rest go to seed to build the crowns ready for next year parsnips are sown pallet collar nearly filled the four extra water barrels now all interconnected using the cycling method using the wire spring to stop it kinking and I've raised these two barrels up because this is the one that used to leak so now it's a wee bit higher than the rest those bricks are on there to stop it warping he cut more than cut three holes into the lid and then it starts at warping so that's what that's for and uh, all these barrels that we've got here add up to uh, 5,800 litres approximately full of course Brian uh, told me about using the uh, stakes to stop the uh, bottles falling over now the netting's on that'll help but I'm going to uh, use uh, his suggestion thank you Brian for the uh, tip which I've shared
Some of the pears have taken and a few of the plums. Frosted strawberry plants, flowers with the black dots. And the one in the middle of the screen is a good one. We need to take those out after the last frost, which hopefully will be today, if you're watching it on Sunday. Now, please remember just to pay uh, Easy Nets uh, a visit, and hopefully I've got you a discount, but they do loads and loads of different netting and fruit cages, supports, whatever you need to protect your plants. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Giraffe and air.